Today we're going to talk about uh, multiplying exponents using the power to power rule. So let's let's get started. Okay. So if I had x to the third power in parentheses raised to the second power. If I have an exponent on the inside of my parentheses and an exponent on the outside of my parentheses, I'm going to multiply those two exponents. So I can say that x, I'm going to bring my x over, keep it the same. My base is going to stay the same, and I'm going to multiply 3 times 2. Well, what is 3 times 2? Bring your x over. 3 times 2 is 6. So again, if I have an, ex an exponent on the inside and an exponent on the outside, I'm going to multiply my exponents, 3 times 2, and that's going to give me 6, x to the 6th power. Okay, let's try another one. What if I had 2 to the 2nd raised to the 3rd? Okay. My rule states that if I have an exponent on the inside and outside, I'm going to multiply my exponents. Multiply these two. So that's going to give me 2 to the 2 times 3, 2 times 3, which is 2 to the 6th power. Now, we can simplify this some more. Um, if you need to know how to simplify this, Please watch my video on, on um, multiplying exponents with the same base. But since, since this is the first problem that I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and simplify this so you'll know, have some idea, and know that you can't leave it like this. Okay? So, 2 to the 6th power, well, what does that mean? That means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 2, that's going to give me 4, and bring down my 2's. I'm going to multiply 4 times 2, which is 8, and bring down my 2's. I'm going to multiply 8 times 2, which is 16, and bring down my 2's. I'm going to multiply 16 times 2, that's 32 times 2. And 32 times 2 is 64. So therefore, 2 to the 6th power is 64. Okay? And again, if you want some additional practice on doing this method, on doing this multiplication, watch my video on um, multiplying exponents uh, with the same base. Okay? Let's try another one. And then I'll have, ask you to work one. Let's do um, 8 to the 5th power raised to the 2nd power. Okay. So that's going to be, since I have an exponent on the inside and an exponent on the outside, I'm going to multiply my two exponents. I'm going to bring my 8 over. Bring my 8 over here. So I have, I'm going to multiply 5 times 2. Well, what is 5 times 2? That's going to give me 10 as my new exponent, and I'm going to bring my 8 over. So 8 to the 5th power raised to the 2nd power is 8 to the 10th power. And we can also simplify that some more. Okay? If you'll please work this one.
go through the actual process of this one. And um, let's do this one. If you'll please place your video on pause while you work those problems, I'd appreciate it. All right. So now that we have, we're going to multiply 4 to the 7th raised to the 3rd power. So I'm going to multiply these two. So that's going to give me 4 to the 7 times 3, which is 4 to the 7 times 3 is 21. And again, we can simplify that some more. The last one that you work. 7 to the ninth raised to the first power. It's going to multiply your exponent. That's going to give you 7 raised to the 9 times 1. But what is 9 times 1? 7 to the ninth power. And you can simplify that one. Again, that's all for power to a power rule. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com, and I will see you next time.